So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Master League. Um, you know, last week I didn't put anything out. As you guys know, I was ill again. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, honestly, it doesn't make any sense. I don't normally get sick. And then I literally got sick like twice in a month. Nose was dripping like a tap. Sounded like death. Um, so anyway, here we are. And I didn't want to put one Master League video out for the week. It's pointless. So this week we'll have a few episodes. We're going to go in there and we're going to try and buy some players, folks. Regarding all the other stuff with the website and the mods, I, look, I, I promise so many things and I never do them and I apologize. So I'm just going to not say anything and I will get them out when they get out, you know. But look, I'll be honest, I've lost, I've lost a lot, a lot of that willpower. I used to have a lot of willpower to put videos out on YouTube. And I've just lost that factor, probably due to the fact that, you know, I like to put football games out, right? Yeah, I could play other games. I just can't be asked. I mean, I, I like to stick to playing football games and I do a career mode master leagues and stuff. But yeah, I've just kind of lost interest. Uh, you know, we are playing a game that's pretty old now, right? But Konami are doing what they're doing. They don't really seem to care because they're still making money and people are still buying coins and packs and the same cards. And look, if you keep buying these players, folks, from Konami, giving them the money, they've got no incentive to improve the game a whole lot. And, you know, the, the game's pretty much a card collecting game at this point. And I'm not, it doesn't interest me. So anyway, I will put out the content when I put it out, folks. I appreciate you watching me anyway. Uh, and today we're going to dive into the action. So... After the last episode, which, once again, I did it last week. I didn't put it out, but we did end up buying a centre-back. So there he is. He has joined the fray. Uh, I'm also using uh, Reshade, as you can see. I've, I've tried to dumb down some of the colours a little bit. I thought it was maybe a little bit too vibrant in the last video. I don't have an HDR monitor, so, it, you know, it's not going to be the best. Um, but I've tried to put the colour down a little bit. But I've, I don't know. I just... I like reshade if it works well. So anyway, that's the news, right? We picked up the new boy. He will be starting possibly today. Now, the next thing to decide upon is a center forward. We need to buy a center forward. We've got 66 million in the bank. And uh, I've kind of narrowed it down, right? Also, the players might look a little bit dark at this point, but when you're in game, they look fine. Plus, you don't need to see their scary face behind mine. So we've got, it's pretty much down, I would say, to Skamaka. And there was also this other guy someone mentioned, Benjamin Sethko uh, from Leipzig. Now, if you compare the two of them, right, they're both very big players. So they're both 100 and, let's see, where is it? 194, Sesko, right? And Skamaka's 195. One's a goal poacher, but we already have Hoyland for that. Skamaka's a target man. Now, if you look at their actual stats themselves, uh, yeah, Skamaka is on your right, right? Sesko's on the left. So Skamaka is the more complete player. He's also four years older. So, you know, he's not going to grow as much as probably what we could do with Sesko. So he's got better stats right now. His kicking power is better. Physical contact's a little bit better. Um, you know, these aren't pacey players necessarily. I mean, Sesko's a little bit quicker. Acceleration's the same on both. Finishing's a bit better for Skamaka. Dribbling's about the same. Tight possession, Skamaka's a little bit better there. Uh, and also the injury resistance. Skamaka does win the bout. And uh, weak, weak, fo weak foot. Uh, can't get it out. Weak foot as well. Uh, also on the three. And then you've got a couple of skills which they don't actually show you. So you have to do it here. So Skamaka's got these. He does have super sub. I've also, remember, changed Marcus Rashford to a dummy runner. So he's going to... Ultimately, Rashford's going to play up top, to be honest. And then we can mix and match. We'll try and get rid of Martial. Uh, and then Sesko, he, he does have a lot of player skills, though, which is a nice thing. He's got one-touch pass, first-time shot. These are quite nice. Um, and then, yeah, Skamaka doesn't have quite as many... But he is the more complete player. The only thing is how well is he going to grow? 25 versus 21. I think we should go for Skamaka though, just because I really want a target man. And I think you've got Hoyland. Do we need two goal poachers? Not really. I want to play with a goal poacher mixed in with a target man. A bit of a combination play. This guy can win the headers. Hoyland can get on the end of it. So yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to put a bid in for him. Okay. 
I know it may be an interesting purchase for United. They probably wouldn't buy him in real life. Very much doubt at all they'd buy him, but we're trying something different. So we'll give him three years. We'll give him a decent salary there. He has good impression anyway. And uh, yeah, well, 48 million. Yeah, look, it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? So there we go. Right, we'll see what happens regarding that. Uh, and then the other option was sorting this out. We messed up with that one, but don't worry. I'm sure Marcio will come in with another offer. Christian Eriksen, I think we should probably sell, right? Elise brought him in. He's going to be the, the player that's definitely going to, you know, get rid of the likes of Eriksen. He's done a decent job, but it's time to move on, I feel. Um, so let's go ahead and accept that. Bosh, and say goodbye to the Danishman of Ericsson. So we're up to 90 million. That'll probably go down if we do buy Skamaka. And uh, the other players. Luke Shaw. Oh, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Limey. That, that is a whopper. Yes, that is a whopper. We may have to get rid of him for that. Uh, Malassia. I mean, these once again, these are players that they're just not doing anything for me. I mean, we haven't even seen Malassia in real life. Don't know what is going on with him. I don't know where where he is, what injuries he's going to have. Likewise, Mason Mount. Don't know where he's gone. So uh, we've also got Rise Bennett and Fredrickson. Let's go ahead and just accept Rise Bennett because we just bought the other centre-back anyway. I'm trying to clear out the players, folks. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll leave the other centre-back because he's basically... He's peanuts. No point selling anyone for half a million. What are you going to do with half a million? Buy a house? Come on. All right, so that'll do nicely. And now let's go ahead and advance the time. And hopefully I won't be sounding like death in the game. I might, I don't know, I get excited. You guys know me. So if my voice is going all over the place, you'll know why. Uh, Michael Elise fails to find form. Yeah, he hasn't been great. To be honest, Elise needs to step up his game. Uh, but there is the confirmation. Uh, we've got some scouting woes. Apparently, the scouts are just as useless as Man United's real scouts because they couldn't find anyone. And there it is. Ericsson's gone and Bennett has gone as well. So, yeah, maybe we should... Well, I'm not... I mean... Yeah, we don't probably need to do that there now. Let's just do this as bolster weak spots and see what they come back with in South America. See if they do anything. Okay, so today, folks, we're taking on the Sheffield United, uh, and we've got to come up with some sort of a game plan. So I'm going to pick a lineup. Let's have a look at the new lad. There he is. There he is, comparing him to Harry Maguire. But you've got to remember that uh, Harry Maguire is 31. This new guy is 23. Yeah, he's got a good eight years on him. And hopefully he's going to be the guy. I mean, he's an extra front man. I'm really intrigued to see how that works out. Uh, but yeah, we'll try and grow this guy. I picked him mainly because his injury resistance is good. His conditioning isn't the best, right? Something we can work on. And, you know, why not? Try something different. So anyway, let me pick a lineup. Be right back. All right, folks. So today we're going to go... A little bit different today. We're going to absolutely pack it in the middle of the park. Okay, we're going to play Michael Elise again. Like, you buy new players, I'm going to play them because we've got to improve them. So we're going to play kind of four in the middle, should we say, you know, with Bruno and Elise as AMFs. And then when we have the ball, Elise will play a little bit more like a second striker. Anthony, we're going to start today. Ganacho on the left and then those three at the back. Uh, and then when we're out of position... We'll see how that works out. So we'll, we'll try it. It never feels that great. Remember, I'm Legend, and Legend always feels like a... Honestly, it feels like a bag of cement half the time. Um, but that's the joys of it. So anyway, there's a look at the team. There's a look at Sheffield United. They're playing five at the back. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know if we should maybe play possession, actually. Thinking counter-attack with that many players... We'll start possession. If it doesn't work, we can go all counter-attack. But yeah, let's uh, let's just start with that. Having a real quick look at the table there. Sheffield United are ninth. They're not playing bad this season. 32 points. So if they do win this match, they... Well, they won't go ahead of us because of goal difference. But it is a big match. So anyway, I will see you guys there. 
We are playing at uh, Old Trafford. Uh, and regarding the intro, by the way, before the match starts, that's not a mod. Uh, I edit that in. I know someone was asking for it, where it tells you like how many points and all that. No, 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 that's not a mod. That's just me playing around with things, trying to make it interesting. So anyway, I will see you guys there. Let's dive into this, and hopefully it's an absolute belter. Will it be? I don't know. I can't predict the future. So find out now. Let's do it! So here we are, folks, live! Under... Something. Under a rock? Under the sun? Well, the sun is setting. But it's a big match. It's a big match, because Sheffield United, as we know, only a couple of points behind us. We lose this today. Problems are going to start brewing even more. Um, but yeah, we need a forward. I think that's the primarily uh, the primary focus. We need to pick up another forward. So we'll see what happens with Skamaka. Uh, if we can snap him up. Just because I feel like, you know, some sort of a target man. Someone who we can hit up top. And get Hoyland to run off of. Also, we'll try out Kasunu today and see how he plays. Come on, Varane. You can't even pass a ball, mate. And the way Sheffield United are playing this season, I'm not, you know, we're not rolling them out. They're very, very uh, lively. Oh, nanny, nanny, nanny. That's just great start. So Hamer wants to play the short one. We knew that already. Gets it back again. Comes right off Varane's face. And then Varane misses it. And then Varane misses it again. Fed inside. Elise trying to stay with his man. There you go, Elise. Well done. Looks like you can do something, mate. And Anthony away. Here we go now. Hoyland looking to break. Doesn't have the form, does he? That's the problem with Hoyland today. Wanted to at least play him, but we're not going to get the same level of movement from him because his offensive awareness is going to be down a little bit. But we do what we do. We'll see what Anthony can do as well. Sousa. Tom Davis. Bogley. That's what I call him from the Jungle Book. Does fire it in. Well done, Martinez. Getting those long legs. Well, they ain't that long. But he has got legs. Jaden once again. Davis. Hammer. Come on. Stay with him. There you go. Looking for Hoyland through the pie hole. Feeds it inside. Now, Elise. Space out wide here for Anthony. Oh, it's just too predictable, isn't it? Right, real life. Oh, Hoyland. Anthony. Hoyland! Oh! Would have been a wonderful goal. Just try to flick it into that bottom corner. Through the pie hole. There it is again. Ganacho. Lovely ball, Bruno! Oh! Oh, looking better, lads. Looking better. Oh, we're going to try something a little different here. We're going to try counter-targets on Bruno. Because I often feel like Bruno Fernandes just drifts off too much, or he's not where he should be. And You know, you kind of need a little bit of support from him. You know, he's, he's the playmaker, and he? he's the player that's going to be creating for other players. So I don't want him dropping off too, too deep. And Hoyland does need someone with him. So let's see if it works out. Here is Davis. It's a long searcher. Kasunu's there. Well played, mate. Through the mixer. Elise. Go on, Elise. Keep going. That's better, though. That's what I want to see from him. I know he's not the quickest. I didn't buy him for his pace. And he hasn't really got the best balance, so that doesn't help either. But there's certainly uh, a lot of good qualities about him. Mainly his dribbling. And I do like to dribble. Well done, Ganacho. Martinez, Mainu, Elise, flicks it on, Bruno, inside, oh, it was a good idea, but the idea didn't quite work, Anthony bundling his man out of the way, trusty, yeah, you can see Bruno now just doing nothing, just standing up top, which is fine, to be honest, because I really just want to try and counter this Sheffield United team, Varane, watch your man, please, Ball swung all around the other way, though. It's a lovely ball, but Alejandro Ganacho does exceptionally well. 
It's not going to win those headers in the middle, are we? Don't We don't have a Yaya -ya Torre. Thomas. Kasunu trying to stay with his man. Thomas again. Through the mixer. Well done, Kasunu. Read the, uh, the follow-up pass. Away he goes. Go on, big man. Elise. Come on, lads. That final pass is a bit poor, isn't it? Trusty. Swings it round to Basham. I mean, Ganacho will give him a bit of time, but we'll probably bring on the likes of, um, I don't know, Rashford, Dallow, someone else. Let's see. Traore. This is where I don't like, because we... I mean, we have got some height in the box with Varane and uh, Kasuna, so I ain't that worried about it, but... Martinez ain't the tallest, is he? He's always uh, always vulnerable in the air. It's Davis. No stoppage time to be played. Sheffield United, though, want to whip this ball in. Maybe we'll get one final chance here. And they are going to get a final chance. No, they're not. Well done, Alejandro. All right, ref, just blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. You played about 10 minutes of stoppage time here. We're not having this as the ball's fired in again. You nearly gave him a goal. You nearly gave him a goal, ref, because you won't blow your bloody whistle. What an absolute mess that was. Onana, unbelievable save, mate. Credit to you. You're actually doing all right at the moment. Well, we had chances. I mean, two against attempts to one. They've had a lot of possession. Oh, dear. Anyway, let's crack on second half. All right, we have made two changes, two tactical changes from Ten Hag. He says, yes, we're going to play Luke Shaw on the left-hand side of the team. We're going to take off Alejandro. And then on the right-hand side, we bring on Diego Dolo. And we take off the Anthony, because he's rubbish. That's exactly what he would say. So anyway, let's see how that works out. Just, I want more defensive cover. All right, folks, that's what we want. That's what we're looking for. So let's see how we do. Anyway, here is Elise now. Come on, that's more like it, mate. How good's the ball in? Not bad ball at all. That was a pretty good ball in as well. It's going to be a throw. Now we're going to launch it in towards McBurney. It's a corner. And Anna's saying, keep that switched on, boys. Kasunu did well there. Did enough to put him off. But there is a chance for the corner. Mark up, lads. Mark up. It's going to be the Gustavo Hammer. Fires this one high towards the back post. Varane gets up. Well, Martin is on the touch. Hello, stay with him. Thomas. Oh, this is what I'm worried about. This is what I'm worried about. Go kick. Another finding Raphael Varane. 57 minutes played here at Old Trafford. Still goalless. Man United, no, they knew it wasn't going to be easy today. Not when you're taking on a Sheffield United side who like to play, you know, five at the back. It was always going to be a case of can you break them down. Here's Bruno. The overlap's on. Lovely play. Luke Shaw. Got time to whip this in. Elise is there. Oh, that was a lovely touch from him. Comes back. Bruno. Oh, Maynu. You got in Bruno's way, son. Oh, now a real chance here for Sheffield United, but that was the chance for Man United. But a great save to deny, well, possibly Elise's first Manchester United goal there. Well, that is a shocker. And they've given it away. Elise, not, not the pass, although Hoyland is going to get there. He falls to the turf. Here's Brewster now. Kasunu trying to stay with him. Thomas, what's the one-two? Oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to have to watch the players in the middle because this is why. Well done, Kasunu, mate. That's quality. He's actually looked really good today, to be fair. I haven't minded him at all. Come on, Bruno, you're in. Has he got the legs? Oh, Bruno. I, actually, I am actually liking this more with the counter target and, and just letting Bruno free reign, to be honest. Uh, we got problems. Stay on him. Kasunu again. That's our ball, ref. No, it's not. I lied. 
Oh dear, I don't know why we're looking at a replay. But uh, yeah, Kasunu, I I'm liking him. He, he looks very, you know, he's a lot more mobile than Maguire, I'd say. And he's, uh, he's a lively little bugger. Right, we brought on Martial. The old super sub trait. Let's see what he can do. Because sometimes, sometimes the super sub traits are an absolute godsend. But it's only when the lads feel like it. Here is Norwood. We've got 18 minutes to play here. We're trying to find a goal, folks. We're trying to find a goal. As I mentioned, the second, you know, I think Mars League in the second season is going to be a lot different to, uh, to this season. It's always harder in the first season. And it has been a tough season. But we've got to try and get in the Champions League, haven't we, and all that fun stuff. Here is Thomas. Sousa, Norwood, Brewster, swung around the other way, Thomas, Dallow, uh oh, uh -oh. oh, it's a great save, oh my goodness, Moon, no, no, that was a terrible miss, because all he had to do was not hit the goalie, and you're looking at 1-0 uh, Sheffield United, oh, it's another lovely turn, well done, Kasunu, oh, blimey, 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 here comes Elise now. Bruno back towards him. He's not... Oh, he's going to have the legs. Well done. Well, that was a nice little move. And how, how gives the ball? Marcial! Stay on side. Dallo. Oh, that wasn't what we wanted, but we might get a corner out of this. No, we're not. We're going to maintain the pressure. Kobe Mainu. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. The touch was horrendous. But Varane says not today. But he did say today... And I don't know what's going on here. We got problems. Gosh, you guys think this hard work watching. Imagine playing. That's a good challenge, even though the ref's an idiot. Says play on. Bogley. Oh, don't Casemiro. Come on. Sometimes that player switching. Absolute dreadful. Kasunu once again, though, not waiting, which is what I like to see. Casemiro fighting for it. Come on. No, don't let him shoot. Brilliant. Kasuda, man. This guy, I'll tell you what. We may have a decent centre-back here. But no, not the right pass. I get so frustrated when I play these silly balls. And now look at this. Not now, not now. Just get it out, Martial. Anywhere will do. Ref will take that. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to settle for a point here. Such a hard game. And I knew it was going to be tough with them playing five at the back. And All right, folks. Well, we've got one final chance possibly here. We're going to try and get this up the line. <sighs> we're going to try and get this up the line and do nothing. Oh, here we go. Dallo. Why are we trying to... Oh, oh, oh! It nearly worked out. Mainu. Bruno. Oh, could have been the goal. Could have been the goal. And it's finished. Nil-nil. I'm sorry, folks, to bore you with a goalless draw. I mean, I will try and condense the highlights. Like, I don't know if you guys like to see the full match, but you got to remember, I sit here for a good half an hour playing these games, so I do like to show... You know, a good amount of the ga you know, the match. Um, but I mean, there wasn't tons. Four attempts to five. It was just a tough game. Possession wasn't there. Hoyland wasn't really feeling it. Unana had a good game in goal. And he was your man of the match. So, there we go. Anyway, let's have a look at the other results from the league. So, elsewhere, Nottingham Forest lost to West Ham. Crystal Palace 2, Chelsea 0. Brighton 2, Burnley nil. Wolves beating Luton. I don't think we wanted that. Man City did win. Uh, Aston Villa nil. Newcastle three. Arsenal losing to Liverpool at the Emirates. Everton nil. Fulham one. And Bournemouth two. Tottenham four. So Tottenham go back. Top of the table. How about that if you're a Tottenham fan? You're loving life. Uh, Liverpool second. Arsenal third. City fourth. We remain seventh, uh, but now we are, God, we're nine points, 11 points behind fourth. That's a bit of a worry. 
And we're also three points behind West Ham. And Wolves are opening up a bit of a lead as well. Not good, not good. Bottom of the table, Luton Town, Crystal Palace and Brentford. All right, so we're going to go to negotiation day and we're going to see what happens with Skamakity Makity. Uh, and let's see what they've said. So they've been finalized. They are happy with it. So we're going to pay 48 million for him. 66,000 a week, which is, you know, laughable nowadays. And uh, like I said, this is his stats. He's not mental, right? He's not going to be amazing. But I do feel like a target man, someone who can win some headers, because his jump isn't the best, but his heading is, what, an 84? And it, and it will improve. And he's got the height, and he's got super sub. First time shot isn't bad. Heading is obviously there as well. So let's go ahead and buy him. Snap him up. Accept the terms. And welcome to the club, Mr. Skamaka. And the nice thing is, he should be, he should be, they're ready for the next match. Now, Luke Shaw. Still don't know about. See, I'm still in two minds with the whole keeping a couple of left backs, right backs. Like, I want to keep Dallow because I think he's actually quite a versatile player. Luke Shaw is getting a little bit older now. He is 29. And I feel like with those kind of stats deteriorating a little bit now, I mean, that kind of money is insane for him. So... I'm going to accept it. Bosh. We are doing a proper clear out in this series, folks. And we are sticking to it. So next season will be the one. So anyway, we've got rid of him. Uh, Malassia. Uh, we're going to get rid of him as well. Got all this money coming in. Get rid of Malassia. Sure. Everyone else. So we've got 117 million in the bank now. Regulon. I don't want a new contract. We're not, we're not doing a renewal, okay? Um, is that the problem? I just want people to buy him. That's all I want. Leaving once his contract expires at the end of the season. Well, I'm just going to leave it then. I'm just going to leave it. Maybe someone will come in for a bid. And then Fredrickson, let's just end this one as well. For the time being. Okay, so we're not going to worry about anything else. We're going to continue the time. Remember, we still have, of course transfer deadline day coming up after this but there we go the new lad the new signing skamaka he is going to be up top with a hoyland seeing what those two together they are two big players you're talking about six three six four and uh, hopefully they do the magic as he signs the pen and paper and he says to his granddad yes welcome to the team uh, he says, this is just amazing. It's been a very special day. I'm looking forward to every moment. To me, winning is as important as anything. And I'm ready to play. Can't wait to see you on the pitch. <laughs> That's not how he sounds. Because he's what? Where's he from? I'll we'll have to have a look. Is he Italian? He is Italian. Hey, Italiano. I should have just done that. Yes, you're from Italia. Huh? So that's perfect. So there he is. Him and Hoyland will be up top together. Uh, let's have a look at the number selection very, very quickly. We do want to change some numbers here. So Skamaka's taken 14. Hmm. You know what? Sorry, Marcio. We're going to change your number. And then let's give Kasanu number three. Where is he? Where you at, Kasanu? Can't find you. There he is. Number two. Ah, we'll give you number three. Uh, and the rest of the team, yeah, we'll leave the numbers legit. Okay. All right, folks. So, we've got a couple of new players to try out today, possibly. I'm really hoping that he's up for it, because if he isn't, oh, he is as well. Love it. All right. We're going to pick a lineup and really go for it today. Take it on Burnley. So, let's see how we do. I'll be right back. All right, folks, so uh, this is what we're looking for. A lot of changes, a lot of changes, but we're ultimately going for players on form today, uh, minus Hoyland, because once again, he's on 25%. What's that all about? But Skamaka's on full beam, not quite, semi-beam. Uh, but yeah, let's see what he can do with these two up top. As I said, they're both 82. They're both big lads. 
And uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing if you compare the two of them. Yeah. Very similar. Right. Also, we're going to rest Bruno today. Okay. We're going to take him off, put him on the bench. Um, start Michael Elise today in, in that AMF role. So we've got a creative playmaker, a box to box with Mainu, and then the anchor man with Casemiro. We'll start Rashford today on the left with the pace. Dallo on the right. I don't know. I really am liking Dallo, and I, I, I just like playing him. I just think the cover for him's there. And then today we're going to rest Varan because as you can see, he's down, needs a break. And we will start Harry Maguire with his face. Um, along with Kasunu. I thought he had a great debut. Uh, and then uh, Martinez as the captain for today because he has got that captaincy trait. And Unana's in goal. I would start by Endear. Drops us down though to an 88. And uh, Unana had a really good game the last match anyway. There's a look at the Burnley. 4-3-3 against the old Vincent Compagnay. And uh, I will see you guys in the match. Now, let's just go for the... Uh, actually, actually, before we do it, let me show you very quickly where they are in the league. Well, mainly because I want to know. So we're seventh and Burnley are 16th. Okay? So there's a lot of room there between us. And we just can't afford to drop points in this one. So I hope and pray we do not. But I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. Let's dive into this. I'll see you guys there as we take on Burnley. So welcome to Turf Moor. Yep, that's right. I got here nice and early earlier. Nice and early earlier. Spoke to some of the fans and they were quietly confident. They said, look, Man United aren't playing the best. Coming off the back of a couple of dodgy uh, results. So they're going to come to this match today in quiet form, should we say. Whereas Ten Hag said, look, we are Manchester United, we are the greatest team, and uh, I've given the players a game plan, and they need to stick to it. So we will see. It's uh, Burnley starting off the uh, the blocks here, flying as Kasunu nicely and comfortably sees that one out of play. Burnley playing a very high line here. But yeah, let's see how Rashford does today. We've, we've, you know, look, we gave him a rest in the last match. So today, he's nice and fresh. Harry Maguire as well. Back in the team. After Varane has been rested. And they're going to have a little bit of rotation now. What with the new lad. There he is, Kasuni. We had a very good first match, to be fair. Look quietly confident. As Martinez looks for Dallo. Just about finds it. Mainu. Keep going, Mainu. All done. Now, the one thing Man United do have now is a lot of height in the box. I mean, we know Man United like to whip the balls in anyway. But now they actually actually have a, a forward in Skamaka who's pretty tall and certainly understands the game well. Oh, hang on a minute. Here is a chance here for the Burnley. Well done, Dallow, getting back just in the nick of time there. So, Mainu back to Dallow. But yeah, Burnley have certainly pressing, let's say that much. So we know how they're going to play. Martinez. Cheeky. Does well. Rashford. Hoyland's up the line here. Trying to find him. Um, not quite sure what Elise was doing there. But no Bruno either, so that's going to be interesting. I mean, you know, look. Ten Hag signed Michael Elise. It does mean that he can rest some players now. You know, he's trying to get rid of the older players. Trying to bring in some fresh blood and get this Man United team back to where they belong. Winning some trophies consistently. Ooh. That was a late one. And that was Elise. Completely missed the ball. I mean, did he? Looked like a dive ref. More importantly, a real chance here for Josh Brownhill. He's going to have a go. But, uh, instead, he whips it in. And there's Skamaka fighting for it. Trying to get his first real touch of the game here. And that is his first touch. Fallon. That's all right. Welcome to the Premier League, Skamaka. Nothing like punching someone in the face to say hello. And well, Kasunu again, man. This guy, love him. 
I mean, he's showing his worth, isn't he? Elise, Dipper, not getting much from Elise, but Kasunu looks like he could be a solid centre-back. Well, nice bit of play there. Well done, Harry Maguire, but it's not the best pass, but Mainu with a beautiful interception. And here's Hoyland now. Flicks it through the gap, but Rashford's too slow. He's not that slow. He's just not awake. <clears throat> Long ball forward. Kasunu again with a header. We're not winning the middle at the moment, are we? Well, there's a chance here through the middle if he plays him in. He did play him in. There it is. Brilliant stop from Anana. Different class. He plucks it out again. Yeah, Anana's starting to click a little bit more, isn't it? Give him a little bit of time to shine, and away you go. Here's Dallo. Looking for Skamaka. Oh, it's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work. Brownhill. It doesn't see what I mean. It doesn't matter who you take on. Burnley, Norwich, your grandma. All the matches are tough. Hoyland does find Skamaka now. Here he goes. He'll try and hold off Taylor. Cuts it back. He's looking for Hoyland, but that's not going to work. Kasunu gets up well. Brownhill. Through the middle again, Kasunu. And this is what I meant about this guy being a, an extra front man. He does give you that little bit more. That's a cheeky ball in. Oh, off the line. Can't finish. Can he finish? And thankfully, he didn't finish. Look at this ball in. He did the old Rabona. Look at this. Bang. That is filthy. That's brilliant. Unana is just saving us left, right, and center. Well, a half an hour played. Man United somehow still goalless here. That's uh, Mainu who's trying to get in behind. Oh, oh, Mainu, who's done brilliantly well. And ha, 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 Burnley switching off. And moments ago, they should have been taking the lead. But Manchester United, oh, we're wearing the all-white as well. Let's all get mixturized in the all-white. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's filthy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm dying here. Oh, we'll take it. It's an absolute mess from Burnley's standpoint. Because this ball right here, I don't know what the defender's doing. He's trying to shield it and embarrasses himself. Ha, ha, ha. And th thankfully, uh, thankfully, Hoyland isn't going to miss from eight yards. Because that would be worrying. So, anyway, 1-0. Flicks it off. Looking for a lease. He finds Dallo. Right, now this is where, this is where, this is the player we brought in, the likes of Skamaka. Had to be a better ball in, though. Martinez is just going to take this himself. And he's going to float it, looking for Hoyland, does flick it on. Keeper was coming out. Mainu. Back to Dallo. Mainu again, this is better from United. Finally a bit of possession for them. Casemiro. Skamaka, able to turn. Oh, we have a lot of players around him. Which foot is he? I've got to have a look at what foot Skamaka is. Is he left footed or right foot? Here's Rashford again. That's a good uh, finish to the match, this. Or should we say from the half from Man United it. As the referee blows for half time. Yeah, just grinding these games out. That's what it is at the moment. I mean, the goal was very, very fortunate. Burnley were just all over the shop but you do what you can and you've got to press and if you didn't press with Mainu, we wouldn't have scored so anyway four attempts to two maybe we bring Bruno on but uh, anyway let's crack on right so Ten Hag hasn't made the change he said yes I'm happy with the team and we're just going to leave it for the time being actually I didn't even look at what Skamaka's left footed it looks like does he Dallo right go on Dallo bit of magic do this yourself rubbish well, that's all right. I'll take the throw. Right, now this is something we have been working on straight from the training ground. He's uh, Kasunu with the long throw. Looking for Skamaka, who flicks it. Oh, I just wanted him to flick it to Hoyland. That would have been a dream, a dream start to the half. But uh, no, Skamaka's actually right-footed, so there we go. But now a chance for Burnley. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. He's going to want to shoot. Well done, lads. Not even going to argue. There's no point. I thought 
I thought Martinez won the ball here. Or it was Casemiro. It was one or the other. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't give a foul for that, would you? Ah, you probably would nowadays with VAR, because VAR's a disgrace. But um, anyway, let's see. Is Brownhill going to have a go? He is. Plows it into the wall. Oh, fly it in! Oh, no, no, comfortable claim. Rashford. Go on, Rashford. Use your pace. Use your feet. It's a good play, son. How good's the ball? There is Skamaka! Ooh, it was a loopy one. It was heading in. But uh, Vigaru comfortably took claim. Now Burnley can bring this forward. Not a great pass. They've given it away. Casemiro. Oh, it's a bit risky. Well done. It's uh, Hunana. Back to Kasunu. Swings that round. Uh, well, it would have been a good ball. Ball's fed inside. Casemiro. No, stay with him, please. Rashford, stay with him. This is where you're just trying to hold him up. Hold him up. No. Well done, Harry Maguire. Taylor, Burnley knocking on the door. We don't want him to. The door's shut, lads. Keep it shut. Brownhill. Berg, if we can, if we can somehow get away. <sighs> I was going to say, if we can somehow get the ball out, we could counter them. <sighs> it's just, it's just, you're just holding a line, hoping and praying <laughs> that you'll get the rub of the green. Luckily, we did that time. I'm going to take off Elise and bring on Bruno and also Hoyland, just because Hoyland, once again, the form. I really want an, an on-song Hoyland. Not a, he's been out of form <laughs> for too long. Well, hang on. Let's not do anything silly here. Let's not do anything silly. Got Rashford staying on him. Get it out. Get it out. Well done, Casemiro. Casemiro's got the complete wrong side of it. Kasunu showing you what he's all about. A ridiculous clearance. Here's Brownhill. And now a chance. That's a wonderful pass. Martial. Just come on. Has he got it? Oh, I went for it. I went for the cheeky finish. But that's, see, that's what Martial will offer you. That's why I don't know with Martial. Like, if we have a really good offer for him. But I'm also trying to train Rashford to become a dummy runner, you know? Here is uh, Delcroix. That's a loose pass there. Martial. Up the line. Give it to him. Go on, Martial. Whip it in. Skamaka's back post. There he is. Get up, Skamaki. This needs to be a pinpoint crossing for that extra perk. We might better steal this and win a throw. Well done, Dallo. Who's done really well. Skamaka! Oh, I should have took a touch. That was his chance. Great play from Dallo. See? High press. High press. That's what they need to do in real life. Bruno with a nice little touch. And I should have just maybe took a touch. Took a touch. Took a time. You take your time, eh? Italiano, eh? <laughs> Martial to Bruno. We're trying something completely different. Bruno Fernandes! Decent attempt. We've got five minutes. Five minutes, folks. Still the full-time whistle. Uh-oh. Well done, Rashford. That's good defending, mate. It's good covering that. Harry Maguire, careful mate, don't rush it. Dallow back to uh, Maguire, Kasunu. There's certainly a result Man United need. They didn't need it to be pretty today. They just needed the result. Here comes Rashford. Martial. Skamaka, oh he was looking for Bruno! Trying to go round the goalie! Oh, it was a close one. And there is uh, Kasunu again. This guy, man. Like, look at his stats. They didn't look that great, but he's definitely playing higher than his stats tell you. You know, and that's where stats are, are only good for so much. As Maguire just launches it clear. I tell you what, it's not a bad little ball as well, is it? As the referee blows for full time, I will take it. 
We will take it. Unana, you made some blooming, blooming good saves today, mate. Unfortunately, Burnley switched off. Maynou pounced and Hoyland was there for a simple tap-in. I don't care. We'll take... I know there's no goals and I apologise, folks. But like I said, I'm playing 14-minute matches here. We've just got to try and click into gear. But eight attempts to six. A man of the match was Unana again. Yeah, he's... he's Two matches with the keeper being man of the match for Man United. It's pretty realistic because David De Gea, how many, how many man of the matches did he get? So the other results. Let's see if any helped us out. Nottingham Forest beat Sheffield United. Chelsea beat West Ham. Luton beat Brighton. Wolves did draw. So that does help us out against the Brentford. Newcastle beat Man City. That does help us out. Although we're still miles behind. Liverpool 1, Aston Villa 3. Fulham 1, Arsenal 1. Tottenham beat Everton, so they'll go even further ahead. And uh, Bournemouth 2, Crystal Palace 2. So we're actually up to 6th. Ooh, you love it. Not really, we're still miles behind the pace. I mean, how many, how many points are we off top spot? 16? That is a lot, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, Tottenham, then Arsenal, now they're up to second. Liverpool dropped to third, Man City fourth, Wolves, then ourselves, then West Ham, then Aston Villa, Brighton and Sheffield United. Chelsea are up to 12th. Mm -hmm. And bottom of the table still Luton, Crystal Palace and Brentford. All right, folks. So we are going to return because we still have a lot of money in the bank account. And we're going to have to spend it. Let's see what else has happened here. Harry Maguire we've had an offer for. Yeah, I don't really want to sell him. <laughs> we, we have had an offer for Anthony for 43 million. Regulon is still annoying me. Uh, and Fredrickson. So, <laughs> what do we do about that? Anyway, let me know below. Like, who do you think? What else? What else? Or who else should we buy? If you looked at the listed players, I mean, these are the kind of players that we were looking at. There are other options, of course. I just don't really know. I mean, I wouldn't say no, honestly, to Frimpong. The only thing with him is his injury. Is a one. But, but, very much like, he's like a Dallo. You know, I do like those defenders, but they're able to also attack. And when you're kind of playing that wing back position as a 3-5-2, do they have to be that good at dribbling in the final third? Just whip the balls in. At the end of the day, do a little move and whip the ball in. That's all I'm worried about. So him having pinpoint crossing, um, you know, it works out. So yeah, we might look at Frimpong. Let me know about him. I mean, there was this other guy someone mentioned about a centre-back, Schlotterbeck. Um, he's another player that looked reasonable to be fair, but he is another extra front man. So if any players on this list look good to you, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to buy super, super powerhouse players. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's have a look. Scouting, they've come back with uh, Izek and Vlahajevic. We obviously had him before. So anyway, we'll return in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, regarding streaming, look, I do plan on streaming as I was Tuesday, Wednesday, once I finish the Arsenal eFootball My League thing, I'm kind of thinking about streaming a default Master League team where we start in the second division and we just do a, a live stream like that because we could probably get through a season relatively fast. It'd be a lot quicker, faster, and a little bit of fun because this series, this is my main series. I want to like, I like to edit these videos, make it a little bit sexier than a stream. You know, so I'm going to keep this as my main baby. But when it comes to streaming, you know, you have a little bit of fun. You do a bit of this, you do a bit of that. And there we go. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, buying players. And until next time, subscribe for more and take care.